Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video we're going to see how we can configure the digital output that are embedded on the Modicon M221. So let's go to the presentation to see in deep how we can configure it. So, depend on the M221 that we have, okay, the amount of IOS and functionalities uh, will change okay this is the location just for you to see it depend on the controller that you have for the outputs okay um, in order to configure the digital output okay we just need to go to the configuration tab digital output click in there or you can click here in the bottom or where the outputs are located and here we have the configuration view so far on the previous videos we see that we have configured this the symbol Okay, so we can use the, the symbol in our program instead of using the address. And also, what is important, the comments. What we're going to focus now in this video is the status alarm and the fallback value. So basically, the status alarm, there is only one output that you can configure with this property. Okay, once you click on there, it, you can see there is use only for alarm. Okay and you cannot use it in your code okay you will see this message okay and the idea of this is that the output assigned as a status alarm will always be in true unless the status is in a stop or any other state okay so that is the mission of the status alarm so imagine that you have a real problem or you have an a process and the enter to one is involved so in order to guarantee that you are in a safe state okay uh, you can activate this to give the signal that there is a problem so that's basically the idea the other value that is important here is the fallback value that by default is in zero so the idea is that when the PLC goes to stop or any other state okay not the run okay it goes to to the fallback value the output will go to the fallback value that you have defined so if you have defined this fallback value that is in here in one for example okay this one q0.3 and the plc go to stop okay if the value fallback is in one the output will be activated okay that is the idea of this so how we can check if there is a problem in one of the outputs okay or ios is simple we can check this if the internal bus of the m one has a problem we need to check the percentage as 119 in order to see if there is a problem if the value is in true then there is no problem and everything is all right so the idea now is to configure the digital outputs of the controller in this way we are going to assign one of the outputs as a status alarm and then we're going to use one of the outputs as a fallback value one so basically the idea of the fallback value is that if you have a it's like you have a safety state for one of the outputs imagine that you have a valve and it always need to be in true for the safety so when the plc goes to stop for any reason you can guarantee that the valve would be in the safety in the in the safety position in case it need to be activated. Okay, that's basically the idea. So if we what we need to do also is the next code so we can also see the behavior of the fallback value over here. And it's important to add the SW6 just to check the status of the controller. So let's go to our application there it goes okay so what we're going to do is to go here configuration digital outputs here i'm going to configure this one as alarm okay and i'm going to use this one q0.5 as a fallback okay apply i'm going to add a code here uh, M0 and here I'm going to use the Q0.5 which is the fallback value 
okay and I'm going to show you that if I want to use the q0.0 I got an error okay you should pass an arm and if I want to use it over here I have the same message okay you cannot use it one is configured as an alarm so I'm going to delete this I have already created this animation table okay with all the status now I'm going to connect with the controller download the application let's just show you the controller is in there just move this over here so you can see the IOS okay the LEDs so okay download maximize this pay attention to the status of the LEDs okay just to show you how does it works so right now it's in a stop and you can see there is something on over there Okay, here you can see the status. This one that it was configured as a fallback value is in one. Okay, as you can see in there, this is the one that you have over here in on. Okay, so I'm going to play this, and as you can see, the output one, the zero, is in zero. Okay, so now when the PLC is running, okay. You can see in there that it's activated, okay, it's in one, okay, and the other one, the Q0, is in zero. So now you can see that the output Q0.5 is in false, okay, and when I go to a stop, manually stop, okay, let me just move this so you can see this status over here, it's in run. So if I stop the controller now, Okay, and dun, 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 just to show you this status. Okay, you can see that the output is activated. Okay, here you can see that the output zero goes to zero, and the other one goes to one. Okay, for the fallback value. Okay, so here you can see the control status, which is in stop. Okay, and this is valuable what we saw over here, okay, in the presentation. Okay, so basically, this is the additional configuration that we have for the digital output, the status, and the fallback value. So, as you can see, it's very simple how to configure, and it's also very important to check the safety status that you require for the digital output that you have on your system so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one